Hey guys, today we're making a delicious recipe similar to loaded baked potatoes, but they're loaded cauliflower waffles. So not similar at all. It's really simple. I'm gonna show you how. So you saw me process up the cauliflower. We used 300 grams. Throw it in your processor in chunks, pulse it, good to go. 300 grams is about two and a half to three cups of pulsed cauliflower or half a head. To the cauliflower, we are gonna add two slices of already cooked bacon. You wanna crumble it up before you add it into your cauliflower. Try not to eat any, I know it's impossible. So crumble up your bacon, add it to your cauliflower. There's no special order to adding stuff. We're just gonna add it all, mix it. Here we have 95 grams, but we're only gonna put 84 grams of cheddar cheese into the cauliflower mixture. We actually have cheddar cheese and provolone here because we ran out of cheddar, but best is cheddar. And then the finer the grated, the better, because it really just helps like mix in and melt and become super cheesy. Add it right to the mixture. And then you wanna save, this extra we're saving is so we can sprinkle it on top. We are also going to cut up some chives. So you can add as little or as much. Um, this is probably like a tablespoon and a half. And add that right in, two eggs. Let's give that a mixture real quick. That looks good. So now we're gonna add some seasoning. I like to go pretty heavy on the salt. Some pepper in there. And then we're gonna keep it pretty simple since we got a lot going on already. Just do onion and garlic powder. Maybe like half a teaspoon onion powder. Same with the garlic. Sometimes it's fun just to not measure and just have fun. That just sounded really bad. Sometimes it's fun to have fun. And the last ingredient is a flax seed meal. We like to get golden. We think it tastes better. It's not as intense. So we are going to add this to the mixture now, anywhere from a quarter cup to half a cup, depending on how much moisture is in your mixture. We definitely recommend you start with a quarter cup and then you can always add more if it's the batter's still a bit wet. There we go. Give that a nice mixture. So a quarter cup seemed to be the perfect amount for our mixture. Again, it'll vary. So we're done, this is it. Eat and enjoy. Just kidding, we're gonna make some waffles using my favorite utensil next to the cookie scooper, our waffle iron. So we're just gonna preheat the waffle iron and we will be back to show you how these are done. Waffle iron is ready to go. You can see because of the light, makes it really easy for you. So we're gonna use a third cup and make more than three. We're gonna make them a little uh, artsy. So if they don't spread all the, way, all the way to the edge, they look edgy. So open your waffle iron, the spray, fill that cup up, plop it right in the middle, and push the iron all the way down. Okay. So the trick with this waffle iron and probably all is, you know it's done when it's done steaming out the sides but I think we're gonna do it for about like four, four and a half minutes. There's a lot of moisture in these puppies because of the cauliflower, so there's gonna be a lot of steam. Don't put your face near it. Oh, it's perfect. A benefit to making them smaller is they're easier to pull off with the fork. When you make them really big, they can just break apart easily. They are pretty fragile, but um, you can see they, they do stay together also. The cheese really, like I said, the finer the cheese, the more like melted together and like joint everything becomes. So this is a perfect cauliflower loaded waffle. So we're gonna finish up the rest of these and then we'll top it with some extra loadedness. Okay. 
We just took pictures and we made five small waffles. So excited to try them. Get some of that sour cream chives. Mm. So I don't even know if I had a bacon crumble in that piece, but the bacon flavor like subtly dispersed throughout the entire waffle, which is always a good thing, right? And it's great. It's cheesy. The chive comes through. Mm. This is a great, great um, waffle option, savory waffle. It's really easy to make. You just combine it in a bowl. You just put it in your waffle maker. Linked below is the recipe, the instructions on how to make them. And you can always change up the spices, add some chili powder, make it spicy, top it with extra bacon, add more bacon, have fun with it. So we hope you enjoyed this recipe. Come back for more, ding the bell, and you'll be notified every time we post a video. All right, bye guys. Mm -hmm.